Honestly, I didn't know who Ben was, never heard of him. He was from Alabama and he had a booth there and he had heard me calling at that show and at the calling contest. And I walked by the booth and he says, hey boy, come here, I wanna hear that yelper. I never heard a yelper, what's a yelper? And then he, he's met in a mouth call, you know, and so I called for him a little bit and, and uh, we chit chat back there. And it, it was just fascinating, Ben with that Southern accent. And so we talked while I said, you know what? You need to come to the World Turkey Calling Championship and call. And I, I never heard of it. No, nobody up north ever heard of the World Turkey Calling Contest. So the next thing you know, uh, Rob Keck, uh, he invited Rob Keck, myself, and Dickie Smith, the guy that helped me make calls, or he made the calls that helped me win some of those competitions, him and Chet Lesh. But uh, we all jumped in a plane and went down, and that's where it really started. I mean, I, I got thinking about it there a while back. The little things in your life that can make a tremendous difference and and that was one day that if I wouldn't have met Ben he wouldn't have asked me to call just that one five minute deal changed my entire life and it was jumped on a plane went down there we called in the world and I was leading the thing the first round and Rob Keck beat me by one point the second round and of course Rob goes on to be the I think it's the executive vice president uh, National Wild Turkey Federation and my career started there with Ben and uh, he sold his company to a, a company here in Georgia called Wellington Leisure Products and then they heard of Tinks Deer Lures and of course they bought that and next thing you know I'm working for Tinks and my career started so and, and but that one little time there I mean five minutes talking to Ben changed got me into the whole career of of hunting 